So we've just done some putters. Obviously, we've done a little review of them is what that was kind of about. But it gave you an opportunity to do a bit of testing on them, yeah. didn't it? So what was your thoughts? I think they're great. I think what Cobra have done is, in general, is... oh. come on, then. any eagles or just birds? Just birds. Just birds. No. Okay. Really? Do they like grass, Will? I don't know. Huh? I've got no treats. <laughs> Look, the yeah. mummy's not happy. The, the right. only treat is them seeing me. Yeah. Back to, back to review. Welcome back to Talkie Golf Club. Thank you. This is quite, probably quite an exciting time for Cobra now, isn't it? With the release of these putters that we're going to be uh, having a little talk about and look at today. Yeah, certainly. I've long awaited release. Um, we haven't been in the putter market for, for a number of years. Um, it's something that we've been keen to introduce. And we've, we felt like, um, you know, obviously as a, as a brand, we pride ourselves on innovation and bringing that game-changing technology to to golfers we couldn't just release a putter for the sake of it and not not have some sort of story so obviously back end of last year we had our our 3d printed putter launch as a, as a one-off and then um as of june this year we released our first ever uh, line of cobra putters so not just uh, any other put uh, any old putter if you like a load of technology packed into these um so we start we have um, two different lines. We have our 3D printed line of putters and then our, our vintage series of putters as well. The technologies I'll, I'll talk you through now. So if we start with our 3D printed putter, you can see here what we have is, is a lattice, 3D printed lattice in the middle here. What that's going to do is just save us a load of weight. What that allows us then to do is, is build the putter, build around that, if you like, and then ensure we can deliver as much MOI, as much forgiveness to that putter as possible. So it's the... You know, from the tests we've done internally, the highest MOI numbers we've seen on putters versus all the all the competitors. You can see a couple of cool things in here as well, in terms of some tungsten weights um, on either side at the end, just to give you that stability. As I say, the, the lattice 3D printed structure in the middle to save weight and then allow us to redistribute that weight where we need it elsewhere. But we didn't stop there. We then moved on and looked at the face. So we teamed up with Sit Golf, and what we've managed to do then is is put our own our own sort of slant, if you like, on their tech, not their putter face technology. So we use their their descending loft technology, which is on the putter here. So you can see we we range from four, three, two, and one degrees of loft. And what their technology allows you to do is to deliver a consistent launch on your putts. So you're going to get a truer roll, a more consistent roll. So as I say, that, that technology is key, but what we also manage to do is then adapt it slightly and we use an aluminium insert, which allows us to save a bit more weight as well. So all the benefit of that descending loft technology with some weight saving benefits as well, just to ensure that you know, we deliver as much MOI into this putter as possible. And then the final thing is you'll see we have Cobra Connect embedded into the grip so people can obviously track their stats and, and see if they're improving their game. And launching a new brand or new product onto the into the market, with, which Cobra have obviously done with uh, with putters, technology and getting in and amongst the big players of putters was it must have been quite an important bit because you can't just turn up and into the party of putters and, and and start dominating, can you? No, absolutely not. And I think that that's always the the challenge that we probably could have brought out just your your bog standard. Um, putter in all the normal shapes and sizes without any real technology and would it have been okay so for us it was really all around how do we what can we do that's innovative that's going to help golfers that's our aim always obviously to deliver a, a benefit to the golfer so 3d printing is a huge part of that um, we, we're leading the industry in that development of that now um, obviously sick face technology is a huge part of that um, so managing to combine them both into a putter launch I think fits in perfectly um, for us and as I say outside of the, the 3D printed range we also have our vintage range of putters. So on the vintage range what you'll see is 
Obviously these, there is no 3D printing in these. We do have some weights on the sole of these putters though, so you can see here these are adjustable through, through custom. Um, again, still the same great sick face technology on the face of the putter, but again with that Cobra we've, we've worked with them to develop this into an aluminum insert which allows us to save a little bit of weight. And then obviously Cobra Connect comes embedded in the grip as well. And when we talk about like feel off the face of putters, what's the kind of thoughts behind the feel that you get off these? Because obviously there's lots over the years that have done, you know, like Odyssey have made putters with inserts and made them as soft as possible. Other companies have moved around with maybe making it a little bit more of a solid feel. What, what's, what's, what's your sort of thoughts behind feel off the face? Is it good to have it soft? Is it good to have it hard? I think it's... Uh, such a difficult question because everyone's perception of feel is different yeah. um, we hit a few putts earlier with Will who said that feels really soft but I've had someone hit the same putter and say that feels really firm um, so it all depends obviously a lot on what golf ball you're using um, and also what you're used what you're comparing that feel to um, so we feel that the face we've got um, is something that's going to deliver you consistent roll and, and a consistently true roll as well so I guess as things stand at the moment there's no no plans to to have different type of inserts but you know in time i'm sure that's something that could happen and looking through your range of putters you've got uh, released a few different models yeah um certainly to me as a coach as a fitter i'm looking at putters here that are very high in, M in moi so you're you're obviously going down a line of stability and you know, trying to help people with those off-centered putt strikes because it does happen, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you, we talk about MOI and um, the MOI is talked about probably every year when people have their next line of drivers that get released. It's all about high MOI, low CG. It's not really that different when we're talking about putters either. We're still trying to give as much forgiveness as possible. So high MOI by making sure we have, you know, weight savings in the middle with 3D printed lattice allows us then to, position that weight where we need it we say we've got tungsten weights to ensure we give that stability at the back here and then the, the higher the MOI the, the more effective this putter is going to be if we don't hit it in the center so from testing we've done internally you know if we're hitting out the heel our putter will with higher MOI you will hold more putts from further away versus competitors because you've got higher MOI and then lastly, then you've got also brought out the range with the, the arm lock. And I, I can only assume this has come from the connection with Brighton. Yeah, I think arm lock putters as, as a whole is something that's got quite a lot of attention recently. Yeah. Um, it's quite a big talking point, different people using it, thinking it should be used, shouldn't be used. Um, and again, obviously Bryson being on staff of us, um, we, it's, we develop so we have our arm lock putters available in in a traditional grand sport shape and also in our agara shape which is the the more oversized mallet um something that we're keen for people to try i know you've had a quick go and like most it's a bit how do you feel comfortable with it how does it work um but as i say it's something that i feel you know people should give a go with but i think majority of sales will come through the the main traditional 34 35 inch putters and do you feel that arm lock is going to help those players that that do struggle with a little bit of i don't know anxiety maybe when it comes to putting yeah i think it makes sense doesn't it when you if you think about it if you if you if you get too wristy with your putts or you have too much movement the arm lock is effectively going to reduce that and help get away from that um, but equally if you get too wristy and you with your putts then you know we've got putters that have got super high MOI so they're going to in, in, in turn get more benefit from those as well. So we're going to have a little look today we're just going to have a little play on the putting green here it's quite busy as there's a comp competition going out there's a lot of people. I thought they're all around. here to see the putters. I know maybe they are I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have a little look with Will and yep. just just have a little you know not necessarily he's looking to massively change a putter but I thought as you were down in the area, I'd get you down here to have a little look at yep. with it with Will to see if there's anything that might be able to help him with his game. And being as he's been using Cobra products now for, for this season, uh, it'd be good to at least test him in some new putters, isn't it? Yeah, and I think putters, the interesting one is, um, so we, we've done some bits off camera with Will effectively, and the one that's a very similar shape and size to what he currently uses, he doesn't like, but he's gravitated towards ones that are completely different. And I think with a with a putter you're always wanting to to roll it aren't you and see how it feels and yeah. generally once you buy it they they don't go in anymore but um <laughs> we'll see how will gets on so this um, where the line is
is still on the top, but is slightly a fraction further back. How do you feel with that one? Do you feel you're able with that one to align it easy as, as well as the other one? Yeah, just as well, but with, with, um, with this one here, I don't like, it feels like I'm a long way from the ball and I'm not over the ball, mm -hmm. just because of how the neck sits. Yep. So this is obviously toe hang, this putter, so. It's toe hang, Yeah. Which you don't currently have in your, the current putter you use, do you? No. Pushed it in. Okay, so let's go to a Guerra, which you like. So this is going to be the putter that's got the, the highest MOI around, effectively. So you're going to get, you're going to... Miss hit them and they're going to go... Miss hit them and it should go in. You use a line on your ball. Obviously, you've got the alignment aid at the back of the putter there. This is actually an inch longer than what you'd usually use. And how does that feel to this putter? It feels more similar to mine. I know okay. the head's bigger and the profile's different, but... The actual, the feeling of the face yep. feels very similar. And obviously this and is face balance as well. In terms of the com, um, what you're seeing from a roll point of view, we'll go to some longer putts in a second. That sick face. Do you feel it's consistent? Ooh. Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, if I was gonna bag a putter, going off of what I've seen so far, this would be the one. This would be the one. But then it's going to take a while to... And what you're getting from that sick face, I know we, we joked about it earlier, is where you, you know, forward press as you're about to, to make your, your stroke. So effectively maybe de-lofting the putter slightly. Because of how that loft runs up and down the face, we're going to deliver you a consistent launch angle on your putt. So whether you de-loft and, and forward press or whether you, you don't, you get a consistent launch yeah, on, on this putter. Well, on, um, just, uh, we did we did some work on we went on Sam Putt Lab with yeah. my putter and like I, even though I'm de lofting it at address and when my stroke during the stroke it's actually not not bad. Yeah. So it's almost like just a trigger movement. So I'm there. Yeah. When I go back, I'm actually delivering the correct amount of loft or maybe just slightly less. What's it feeling like off the face, Wilbur? It feels nice, yeah, it does. It's um, Different to it, yours? Yeah, it comes off a little bit quicker than mine, so the face is it's obviously a little bit firmer than my face, but mine's got an insert in, into it, the number seven, so it's really soft. But I'd say, like, the consistency of putts are really nice. I like the look of it, and it's rolling quite nicely, so. And um, when it, when you miss, miss hit one, let's say, with your putter, do you know where you've hit it in the face? Are you getting a sense of that with a softer feel? Yeah. Or And do you feel like you get a better sense when the face is a bit firmer? Or which way are you kind of with it? Um, so I used to have a Scotty a long time back and yeah. um, that was like a slightly firmer face. And when you miss strike him, you know you miss struck him. You know, with, with my Odyssey, it's if I miss strike a putt, it's going to come up short just because it's it's that soft in the face and the miss strike you're not hitting the center so you're not getting the most out of the putt whereas this one here feels i've towed i towed the second part i hit and it's actually gone the same distance okay, so so stability wise stability, yeah that's that's what this is all about and that's the it? story you know that's where you're going to get that consistency that stability it's also going to veer left le less offline through all that um let's say through the the advantage of 3d printing yeah what that brings us and that and that's more to do with the twisting is it yeah so less twisting club face stays squarer for longer i suppose or keeps it more on on the line of where yeah. we're trying to go yeah no and say so we're going to see when, when we get them off center and that's why we came a bit further away as well because the further away you go the the more chance you'll you'll miss center effectively yeah but you're going to see more consistency in terms of that putt reaching or getting in the hole versus putter with less moi where you would have more twisting 
and then obviously you'd miss more as well. And, and going further away and getting the sense of miss hitting it more, that's because the putter stroke is becoming longer, yeah? Yeah, putter stroke is becoming longer and yeah. also I think it's always a, an interesting one to even, you know, on a, a, you know, a good sized putting green here, but have some longer putts to get a yeah. feel for, for speed, I think. That's the challenge when you go into a new putter and as Will says, the, the face is different to what he's used to using. So he's going to, of course, it's going to take him a bit of adapting in terms of getting used to how that feels and how the ball reacts. Um, so longer putts will help him with that. He seems to have got his pace dialed in okay from that last one. Just a misread, Will. Yeah, it's a tricky Your putt. pace putting's always been very good, Will, hasn't it? Yeah. So that's a strong part of your game. The only thing I'd say the difference was with this putter to mine is this thing is slightly longer. I can feel yeah, it's slightly longer. Yeah, you're a 33, longer. yours is 33, isn't it? 33, yeah. 33 inches in length and this one's 34. Yeah. I mean, most people would say that your putting game is pretty solid, Will, from what we when we play together. Would, are you someone that messes about putters too much, or are you not particularly? No, no. no I, I don't mind um, coming out and have a couple of putts, but with different ones, to just have a feel of them, see how yeah. they're feeling. But realistically, I, it's hard to go away from a putter that I'm. I was going to say, well. are you someone that would change a putter for the sake of changing, or are you once you found something you like, you just stick with stick it? Stick with it, yeah. 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 So um, my strokes gained with my putter are pretty good, so it's. Unless there's one that's going to massively affect that, Let's stick with the same, I think. Yeah, so I think the um, Cobra putters are great. I think what they've done and the the different styles are different. Definitely, there's a different approach to every one of them, but they all look they all look nice. And you obviously had a go with a few of them, and um, mm. you kind of one one stepped out amongst the rest. Didn't yeah, you? I think it was a Supernova. It was okay. slightly bigger. Yeah. But putting with it, it's just I think that's the one that the um, what do they call it? The 3D printing. It's 3D printing, but it's also if you slightly miss hit it, it's so it's really high MOI. Really high MOI. Yeah, so because it's got it's obviously taken the weight out of it with the 3D printing stuff, and they were able to distribute it a little bit more yeah. around the edges of the putter. Yeah, I putted quite nicely with that one. Got it. Really got to go an end over end, and that was probably my favourite one. The one similar to my own was was nice as well. It looks just like the Odyssey almost, but yeah. just a couple more different effects to it. What I think in general they all look nice. So I think they, it could go in the bag, maybe at some stage, a bit more testing. Yeah. Like I only had probably 15, 20 putts, so it's it's hard to judge that just on the putting green. I'd have to have it on the course, yeah. have putting your three footers, putting your 10 footers. But I think in general, I think they could be a great seller, to be honest. I think, I think you're right. what they've done is fantastic and they, they everyone's got a different, different effect to it, what's nice. So that they don't all look the same. So yeah. if you like a different style, have a look. So there you go, there's our little, well, review really of the new Cobra putters that are, have been released. They're out on the market now for you to have a little look at and test. Always difficult to try and get into a market like putters for this example. You know, there's so many quality products out on the market right now, certainly with Scotty Cameron, with TaylorMade, with Odyssey. There's so many good putters out there um, on the market and to, for Cobra to dive in, to see if they can get a share of that market I think is actually quite brave and I have to take my hat off to them with the technology that they're bringing into those putters. But I'd like to know what you think. Are Cobra putters something that you would go and test yourself? I'd like to hear in the comments down below, are there any of those putters that they've got out on the market worth a test? Don't forget if you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all again very soon.